What's up guys? Welcome back to Prison Architect. Uh, in the last episode, I discovered that we had an ex-law enforcement right here. Simon Stevenson. He's ex-law enforcement. He needs to be in protective custody. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and put him in protective custody. That's going to give him the yellow shirt. But um, like, I, I don't have anywhere to put him. Um, I'm not sure how this, like, how does this work in real prison? I haven't really looked into that. They don't actually give him a yellow shirt. Like, they don't actually give him, oh, he's out here peeing. He's peeing in my, are you trying to pee in the power conduit? Is that what you're trying to do? I don't know. Um, I don't think they actually give him a different color shirt. That would kind of be a little bit weird, wouldn't it? To show all of the prisoners that he's special. Um, but I think for the purposes of the game and identifying him, that's what it's doing. So I think what I'm going to have to do, because I don't have enough money to do this, uh, I'm, I'm about to get a bunch of money here. The short-term investment is about to pay off in two minutes, as soon as soon basically as soon as I uh, as soon as soon I hit the space bar here and open up the game, which, you know what, why not? There we go. So there's my grant completion payment. Now I can accept a new one if I want to, and that's going to give me another, uh, another advance. And I'm thinking the education one is probably what I want to do, only because the advance is the highest. Um, but it's going to take a long time to pass this. I have to have 10 prisoners pass the foundation education course, and I have to have one prisoner pass the general education course. That's not easy to do, especially when I only have 28 prisoners in my prison. So because of that, and it's going to take up a grant slot. So because of that, I think I need to work on the other two, even though this grant is a uh, higher advance. So I'm thinking that... I can't do the kitchen one yet. I can't have them working in the kitchen yet because I don't have education. I could get one classroom. I could build one classroom and um, and have them like take the class. So if I had one classroom, that might be all right. I, could, I think I can afford that. Um, and have three prisoners work in the cleaning cupboard. That's easy. Work in the laundry. That's already being done. So I'm thinking this is the one I want. It's 10 grand now, 10 grand later. It's not going to cost me 10 grand to make one classroom. I do have to figure out where I want the classroom to be, though. Uh, yeah, I didn't think about that, did I? No. Um, I think, and actually, maybe the classroom... Well, how big does the classroom have to... You know what? Let's just take this now. I'm pretty sure this is the one I'm going to do. So in order to work in the kitchen, they have to take the course. So let's grab that one. That's going to give me the advance. Now, let me look at kitchen, uh, not, not kitchens, uh, classrooms, which is, I wish I had better eyesight. I know it's staring me right in the face. I just don't see classroom, staff room, mail room, shop. Ooh, mail room. That's something else we're going to have to do too. Yeah, we're going to have to get on that too. Where's the classroom? Like, it's grayed out because I don't have education researched. <laughs> okay, let's try this. Let's try this. Um, bureaucracy. Education. $2,000 to research education. Okay, that's fine. Once I research education, we'll be able to do that. And actually, you know, I'm thinking now probably should also research dogs because um, that other grant had to do with dogs. So let's research that too. I don't, do I need micromanagement right now? I don't think so. I really need to get on tax relief. It's just like every day we go, that goes by that, um, that this is not researched, we're losing money that's potentially we, we could keep. I have 26,000, so I could technically research that. But man, oh man, like I also have to pay off my grant. Maybe we do that instead. This might be a better usage of that 10 because that's going to allow us to borrow more later. Uh, can I only, if I hit decrease, is that going to actually pay off all 10 or does it pay off some? Okay, it only pays off some. Cool, now I can make more per day. So let's leave it like, let's leave it like that. That's good. So I need to build a classroom. Uh, these little areas here were meant to be psychiatrist or psychologist offices. Uh, this was meant to be a psychologist office as was these. So I'm thinking now that some of these need to be classrooms. And I'd really hate to put them like all the way over here. I mean, it's it, the classrooms were gonna be integrated. 
you know, maybe these are be maybe these will be the psychologist's offices because it's like integrated into all these cells. And I'll put the classrooms over here. Let's do that. Okay, so we're gonna do that. Uh, brick building. We're gonna do this right here. And it will require an entrance. That's fine. We'll take uh, a door. We need prisoners to be able to get in here without much problem. So we'll do two doors. And then once the foundation is built, we'll have... Uh, why is the maximum security eating with... Because my, because my regime says so. Well, there's only two of them. That's the whole point. So like, there's not a huge number of them. So I'm not... I, I probably shouldn't be that concerned right now. So uh, we still need to build these, and I need to get, I need to get the protective custody guy in here. Let's let's do that right now. Let's go. Um, not logistics, deployment. Here we go. Protective custody. That's this dorm right here. So whoever's in that dorm, that's not your dorm anymore. Protective custody. That's what it is. And you know what? We're gonna shake everyone down right now. Cause. Surprise, surprise, I yeah, found your knives. Yep, they got knives. Oh man, we got drills, we've got cell phones, hammers, drugs, poison, what And You guys, well, see? Now I'm gonna need more solitary cells. I can't, ha I can't hold everyone in solitary as a punishment if I don't have enough cells for it. So, oh, that's, that's what this part was for. Okay, I need to move these, let's dismantle these. I need to move these because this area was going to be, and actually, you know what, let's prioritize that. I need to move these because this area was gonna be solitary. So I'm gonna do that now too. Solitary door, solitary door. Uh, it's gonna be there, there, and th not like that though, there. Yep, and then, uh, a wall here and here. I'll get that done. And then my workers will be trapped in solitary. Uh, nope, we're good. Okay, so there's that. Now I need to mark them as rooms that they can use. So solitary, confinement, uh, here, here, and here. What? This is a light. That's what it is. It's a light. Let's dismantle that. Not sure what that light's doing there. And then these metal detectors, I'm thinking like, I'm thinking these metal detectors, how can I limit the cost of this? Well, I don't want, I, I can limit the cost by not requiring two. So how about we just do this? How about we go, we'll put a brick wall here and then we'll just have one metal detector. It's like I don't need two if I have the entrance smaller, so we'll just do that. Okay, they're building this foundation over here. That's gonna get these cells working out, okay. How's our classroom progress? That is not, not progressing. So let's do this. Prioritize that. Oh, you guys are gonna stop yeah, well, you're gonna stop this anyway because I don't have an entrance. So how about we go uh, jail door, jail door, jail door, jail door. Here we go. Let's make the first door for the jail here and the first door for this cell here. And that will provide a door for this area. I'm actually going to prioritize that as well just so those foundations get built. Okay, there's our classroom buildings. So how about we go brick wall here and that should take care of the planning process. Let's get the planner out and get rid of these walls. Planning. And now we need like, <laughs> we're gonna need stuff for our classrooms as well. Uh, I'm gonna think of probably, what does it need? I can't mark classroom yet because I don't have education, but the classroom is going to need a school desk and office desk, okay. So office desk is here. Where's the teacher gonna be? I'm kind of thinking, if it was me as, a, as their teacher, I would want to be like as close to the door as possible, honestly. Um, so these rooms are actually quite small. These are kind of too small for a classroom. Hmm. 
Let's expand this just a little bit. I, I think this is a little bit too small for a classroom. So let's expand this to... We're going to cut into the yard a little bit, but... You know what? Like, those prisoners, they'll deal with it. They'll live with it. A little smaller yard. Never hurt nobody. And then let's prioritize that as well. But I'm thinking, like, if I was me as a teacher, I would want to be as close to the, as close to the door as possible. So how about we do this? We put the desk... Uh, I'm going to put the desk there, and then I'm going to put the chair here. And then I'll do the same uh, for this this one here, too. So we'll do a office desk here, and a chair here. And then once this gets built, this should get rid of this wall, hopefully. It probably, it maybe won't, but even if it does, you know what? I don't know. I don't know if it will. Oh, well, it did already. There you go. All right, so they'll clean this up. Uh, this light's going to have to go. So we'll get rid of this light. Yeah, because it's in the wall, so it's like, it doesn't matter. And then we'll have the wall go like this. And now we'll have a little bit bigger classrooms. Should be all right. So once we get that done, we'll have school desks. And school desks are... Where are the school desks? Hold on. Serving trays. Do I not have access to school desks until I research it? Is that how that works? Yeah, right there. Okay, I need. I still need education. How long is that? Seven hours. Well, you know what then? Let's just leave this. let this run for a while. Oh, 12,000. I actually have these done, so I can start working on these cells, actually. So let's just let it run. But I'm going to work on the cells at the same time. So how about we go um, brick wall here. Uh, I'm actually going to go up two because I want them to be able to access all the cells to build them. And I do it this way because um, I, I, it's, it's faster for me, I think. it's I think it's faster um, to do it this way rather than having a door, a jail door on all these cells because the jail doors close and the workmen can't open them. See, like that? The workmen can't open this door. So I can lock it open, but to lock all of them open and then have to, you know, lock all of them again, it's just like, I don't really want to deal with that. So now they have a door they can get in of and they can move to all of these different things and deliver all the things I want them to deliver. Now this, this uh, light is, uh, is there. I need to install lights in all these cells. Like, ooh. They don't, they don't have electricity either. Oh boy. No electricity. That's a lot of electrical cable too. I'm wondering if I should have this on a different circuit. Maybe this whole top section here runs off this. But like how much excess power? We have enough. We could, yeah, we're going to have conduits around. We have enough. All right. So I'm thinking this is going to see this still be the same circuit. So how about we go down like this? Let's just, let's just do that. Um, and then we're going to go like that and like that. Actually, no, let's not do that. Let's l go along the, the halls. Because the halls will, they'll be able to reach. Anyway, like this, and then like this. I think that reaches these, doesn't it? Oh, maybe it doesn't. I, I You know what? I'm thinking actually now it doesn't. So... Yeah, let's go back with the original plan. And we'll go down the middle of the wall here. That'll take care of that. Uh, these will be taken care of. So I'll just run it down this wall here. And then um, and down like that. And then, uh, let's see, how about... You know, how about we just do it like this? God, it feels silly doing that because this 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 cord is already here. This this wire is already here. So maybe I get this back. Let's connect this there. Yeah, let's do that. We'll connect this there, and then we'll dismantle this electrical cable. Okay. 
Uh, how is our education doing? Three hours still left. Darn it. Come on, I really need to get this education done. Uh, let's look at let's look at the regime. We need to have protective custody, and I think protective custody is gonna have a schedule that's like different than everyone. I was originally thinking I would just have them have the same schedule as minimum security, but minimum security has work and free time at the same time sometimes, and protective custody cannot do that. So sleep time for protective custody is gonna be. 6, uh, let's, let's not do 6 a.m. Let's do sleep time as 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. That seems like a really long time to sleep, though. All right. We'll have him sleep from 11 to 9. That's better. 11 to 9. So protective custody sleeps from 11 to 9. You just you just sleep. <laughs> no, um, eleven to nine. Then at nine p.m., uh, he'll wake up to take a shower. Actually, let's just do lockup. Nine p.m. is lockup. He'll shower during lockup because it'll be in his cell. So I don't need to designate shower time really because of that. I probably could do that with everything, but it's it's fine. Shower time is fine. Uh, then after this, we'll go, we'll do eat. So he'll eat from 11 to, two, from 10 to 11. Uh, then he'll have yard time. Then we'll do work free time. Uh, he sleeps at nine, right? Yeah, that was nine. So then he can do another eat time here. Uh, and then we'll say uh, lock up again and then sleep. That will be protective custody schedule. And hopefully that keeps him alive. Because he's only sleep he's eating when everyone else is sleeping. He's working, he's he's doing his yard work, he's doing all that stuff when everyone else is sleeping. So hopefully that keeps him alive. Now uh, this room has been extended. Uh, no, the, the doors have been the, the doors on the walls have been demolished. So let's just kind of do this. And this is my cleaning cupboard. So let's designate that room. I know, this is a huge cleaning cupboard, I know. But the bigger the cleaning cupboard, the more people you can have work there. And I'm okay with, like, a big one. Like, a really big one is fine, I think. Like, one really big one in the whole prison is fine. Uh, I may have another one kind of off in the corner over here, but, like, one big one is fine for this for now. All right, so it looks like these cells are kind of laid out. The electricity is not running yet, but that's all right. They're getting there. And this, do I have education yet? Two hours. All right, I'm going to keep, I'm not going to pause it. No, nope, no more pause. No more, no more space bar. Uh, I could probably get some pads here. because It doesn't really look all that good. It's kind of, it's kind of meh. Uh, so how about we do paving stone? And we get the paving stone running down to there. And then, um... Paving stone right over here? Yeah, paving stone's run over there already, so that's good. Uh, I'm gonna do some paving stone up this way too. And through here. I know, the tight budget, why are you doing that? I don't know. Probably shouldn't be doing that. Uh, let's see, storage. I, I designated this area as storage, and this is eventually gonna be a perimeter fence, not this fence, but for now it's what it is. If I need more money, I can sell this, these, this wood here. That's good too, if I need more money. But um, the wood is really handy when I get my workshop started, which is something I'm gonna be working on soon because I need to get that done, but sooner or later, that's gotta happen. Education is approved. Yes, yes it is. So let's get education started. We want a school desk and we wanna have the school desks like this. I can't decide if I should do more. I'm going to leave it like that for now. So like the, there's like a little hallway that they can like get to the door from. Uh, let's, do, you know, let's do that right there. Yeah. So a bunch of school desks and that will help them with learning, hopefully. Uh, classroom, 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 classroom. Where is it? 
Where's the clash? Man, I just can't, I can't find it. I really wish these were in alphabetical order. Like, having the, I understand kind of why they did what they did, but like, I really wish they were in alphabetical order. As, as well as the objects too, like, or at least a button that allows me to toggle into alphabetical order. Uh, it says minimum size is 5x5. Five five. Maybe this wasn't what I was designated for my... I wasn't designating this for my classrooms. These were all supposed to be offices, I think. Yeah. Where was I going to have my classrooms? Maybe I didn't... Maybe I didn't, didn't designate for a classroom. It doesn't look like I did. So, I guess this is where my classroom is going to be now. Uh, it is definitely five wide this direction though. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I just need to go one more row over. So I need to expand this way and this way. Okay, let's just do that. Building brick, expand this way foundation and expand this way foundation. And this will help me put more uh, more desks. So that's I guess that's okay once they get that done. And then we can start getting our... Um, they can start learning how to work in the kitchen and things like that, so it'll be good. Logistics, let's put cleaning people, and we'll put one more in laundry too. How's our temperature doing? Medium and increasing, danger, danger. Uh, let's look, take a look at needs. It's a good, thing, good idea to keep a, an eye on our needs. And it looks like family, recreation, and exercise is kind of the big things. Some of them have a freedom problem. Well, you should have thought of that about that before you were in prison. And they're definitely looking for literacy and stuff. Okay. Well, the exercise and family and recreation part, I, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if this is like a lack of yard time. Maybe it's like a they they feel like their yard yard time is too low or something. I don't know. This is eventually going to be a yard right here, so it'll be a little bit bigger. Uh, I think the canteen, I, I think I might actually leave this as yards. Like, I might leave this as the yard. Um, oh, look at what it did. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. Um, demolish the walls. Demolish that. And demolish that. Um, I, I think I might actually leave this yard the way it is. Initially, I was going to have the canteen come all the way down through here. But I'm not sure I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to have the canteen sort of wrap around this this yard. Because I, I think they need a bigger yard than they do the canteen. Uh, rooms. Classroom. And let's kind of just do that. That should satisfy the requirements. There it goes. Now I can have uh, classes started. So programs. Kitchen safety and hygiene. Requires... <laughs> uh, well, that, there goes my memory, guys. That's why my memory is bad. Uh, the kitchen safety and hygiene course takes place in the kitchen, not in a classroom. Uh, so you don't need classrooms for that. But it's okay. We're going to need classrooms anyway, so we've got them. Uh, let's go ahead and do uh, three classes for that. Then I want to put a foundation education class. Ooh, we have two people interested in that. Let's go ahead and do that. And we can do that now because I have a classroom. So there you go. Foundation education. Get your GED. I think that actually the GED part's a general education, I think. I don't remember. Uh, looks like we have a prisoner that went in here. I kind of wish I had cameras and security set up. Mm, I need to get that done. What is? What do I need to do that? Surveillance? Uh, this unlocks the phone tap system. Can I, did I unlock the automation for the doors and stuff? Or is that in another area? Remote access, I think, is what that is. Yes. But what about... Ooh. Mm, I don't have time for legal right now. I think surveillance is what I want to do next. So let's research surveillance. I know I don't have the money for it, but I, I want to get that done. Because I want to be able to see inside these rooms and stuff. Oh, caught ya. Caught you stealing a cell phone from the warden's office. Yep, right through there. Gotcha. It's kind of a weird spot for this. I almost feel like moving it here. But then if they come around this way, well, well they still have this one. Which is not hooked up to power, so I guess it wouldn't work. I have a bunch of extra electrical cable. 
when you when I take when I took this uh, this cable out um, actually I didn't oh I didn't uh, I didn't tell it to take it out I want to go there and I want to go there and I also want to go there um, when I told them to take this cable out I actually get the cable back so you can see these little numbers on my on my stuff it says 31 it means I have 31 squares of electrical cable store in storage so like all this little cable here I've got a whole bunch of cable in storage well we found a drill that's why the metal detectors are awesome because we catch them before they do anything with it that's great all right I have a little bit of extra money I'm gonna spend it on these cells so let's take the bed and put a bed here these are really small cells three by two that's how it works so uh, yeah three by two so one uh, two three I'm trying to budget my money and figure out how much it's gonna cost me uh, then I want the jail doors so the jail door will be there and there and then I need a toilet toilet let's put the toilet next to the pillow it's always nice to sleep next to your poo uh, and then we're going to do shower head and again I'm gonna put the shower heads like in the rooms like all the time because it, it really it, oops not this side though uh, to me I think I really I think it dramatically decreases the the fighting that you get because they're not in the showers fighting uh, and then I put a drain in the same location as the as the door once it's installed and that prevents the water from leaving the cell and flooding in the area and stuff so oh we got a big fight happening here what in the world injured he's injured oh, my guard is injured too yeah that's right that's right that's what you get what, what's his name this is Ralph of course it's a Ralph it's always a Ralph Ralph rough stuff Merkels Ralph was born to an abusive fan well now we're just using excuses Ralph was born to an abusive fa abusive family in a, in a poor inner city suburb uh, he enjoyed lighting fires after his family home burnt down he was sent to multiple foster homes eventually he used arson to get revenge on people he didn't like and Conveniently enough, he was sentenced to 17 years for arson. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know. And apparently, he has actually a really low reoffending chance. Uh, so this is good. The reoffending chance is important because if they can get out, um, if they can get out early, we get bonuses for that. If they, you know, if they make bail, if they make parole, sorry, if they have a parole hearing and they make parole and they're approved for parole we get bonuses for that uh, so you you the the warden my, me uh, has an, an incentive uh oh what happened in here we what we had a prisoner break into the kitchen uh apparently someone who was trying to learn kitchen etiquette isn't a very good student because like they smashed everything all right, deployment. Let's put a guard in here at all times. And uh, you know what? Like to protect our teachers, I think I'm kind of kind of want. And eh, not yet, not yet. Um, laundry's got one in there. That's good. We can always see what's happening there. Common room's got one. That's good. Uh, visitation has one. That's good. I think every parole room should have one, but like we don't have a schedule for it yet. I don't have the the management for that yet. So. What I also don't have, though, is figuring out who should be in these cells. I'm going to leave these alone. These can be for solitary cells for anyone. Uh, yeah, and then this can be solitary for only medium security. Uh-huh. Now we need all the utilities for this stuff. Uh, Electricity is not hooked up because why? Because for whatever reason, they didn't run the power lines this way. Probably because I told them to stop and I never told them to start again. I do that sometimes. Uh, let's dismantle this utility here. We don't need that. We can get those electrical lines back. And to tell you the truth, oh, I was going to hire somebody, but uh, we're actually at a negative cash flow right now. That's not a good thing. Uh oh. 
Uh, that's not a good thing. Nope. We have $1,000 left and we have a negative cash flow. Because we get bonuses when we have days without incidents. <laughs> and uh, yeah, that's not happening anytime soon. Uh, wow, loan interest. At least we got the loan interest knocked down. That's going to help us at least stay afloat for a couple of days. Uh, so I have a couple of days to fix this. How are we doing on our grants? I don't have the capacity to, to 50. This won't even do it because like, I only did a couple of cells. And I'm out of money to make more. So there's that. Uh, this, we might get this one. Uh, if we can get some people to like work in the kitchen, we might get it. Uh, we have hygiene and kitchen safety and stuff running, but maybe we shouldn't have so many classes running. So I'm going to stop this one. How much does this cost? This costs a hundred dollars per session. Okay. So we can, if we cancel that one, we'll save ourselves a hundred dollars a day. Now we'll have a negative 61. We can last a little longer. But I do need people in these courses. Um, and I think foundation education, I'm going to stop that one too. That's going to put us back in the green. The foundation education course was the reason why we were yeah, 300 per session. Okay. Yeah, that's definitely going to be just one class. Uh, behavioral therapy. Well, I, I mean, if I wasn't so tight in the budget, I would totally do that. That requires a psychologist, but yeah. Okay. Well, I think I'm going to sort that out. And I think I'm going to call this the episode. I've been recording for about a half an hour now. So we'll call this the episode. We've got metal detectors throughout the prison now. Uh, and we're catching people with weapons. That's good. We're trying to train some prisoners to work in the kitchen so that uh, when our prisoner load does expand, we don't have to hire so many cooks. We can have the prisoners cook, uh, which is good. We've got people working in the cleaning cupboard. Look at him with the mop. Huh? Don't need so many cleaning staff. Let's take a look at our staff really quick. Here's our staff. Uh, we have these three janitors. I'm thinking with enough people working in the in the like in the cleaning cupboard here, with enough prisoners working here, I don't think we need these janitors much anymore. So I'm gonna fire one of them. Um, I'm not gonna fire the black guy. That would kind of be like a one out of three chance. I'll probably be called a racist. Know. We're gonna fire this guy. Um, there he goes. I have to actually have the game on. Um, workforce is okay. I don't have a whole lot of stuff I can build right now, so we're gonna trim our uh, trim our workforce here a little bit. Given the number of fights and stuff, though, I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna cut back my guards. So, but that's gonna help me with money. We're making 343 a day now instead of losing money. So at least there's that. But I, I'm working on expanding slowly. So it's gonna be a slow expansion here because I gotta secure the place down. So, anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, leave me comments. Let me know what you think. And uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.